Hello everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you all but this one is witchy themed. I'm super excited about this one. So it'll be items that you can use for your practice or as witchy decor and specifically it'll target green witches or any type of earth magic. So without further ado let's hop right in. So the first item is called a towel and tissue holder but when I saw it I thought it would be great for drying herbs and flowers you can just hang them off of it so not only would it be resourceful but it would also make beautiful decor as well so I picked one of those up and I'm sure you can also DIY these there's probably YouTube videos out there showing you how to do these beautiful braids. So if you didn't want to pick one up at Dollar Tree, you could definitely make one yourself. So I thought that was a good idea. The next item is actually in Dollar Tree's kitchen line and it's their brand new print of bees. And this is actually a kitchen towel, but I thought it would make a beautiful altar cloth. So especially during the spring and summer seasons, I thought it would just be so beautiful on my altar. So I picked that up. And also with that same print, I found this mug. So if you're a tourist like me or into florals and insects, this will be a perfect addition for your kitchen. So pretty. Next up, I found some mini potted faux plants, and I think these are so gorgeous. The bottom is a lightweight, I don't know if it's a ceramic or some type. It's got to be ceramic because stone would be a lot heavier, but they're really beautiful, and I thought if you can't get a hold of fresh flowers or maybe you're allergic to flowers these would be perfect to decorate your altar with or your witch's cottage with they're so pretty and they'll bring a pop of spring into your home without the allergies of course next up i found some beautiful ribbon that i thought would be so gorgeous in a book of shadows and it's these so you got the green one with this beautiful greenery on it and then of course these beautiful yellow flowers. I thought it would just bring a pop of spring into your book of shadows, especially if you're doing some work on florals or the different types of plants and herbs that are local to you. I thought this would just give the page a beautiful extra add-on. Then I also found this pencil tin and I thought this would be great for incense or different types of herbs. So I picked that up. This is great for traveling as well. So if you wanted to add it to your travel altar, I thought that would be a good idea or even just throw it into your purse. You could even put crystals in here as well. So I thought that was super pretty. And then in the checkout line, I found this dream catcher. Now, I don't really like the yarn accents and these colorful beads. So I thought I would DIY this, take all this off. You could use the moon for all kinds of different things. If you wanted to do an accent on the cover of your book of shadows, or if you wanted to use it in other witchy decor, you could do that as well. I'm gonna stick with the theme of the dream catcher, and I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do a nightmare banning spell with this and I think it'll turn out really good. If you're interested in seeing how I go about doing that, let me know in the comments down below and I can record it for you all. But I thought that would be a good DIY project. And then I also found these decorative stickers and they say blessed, but then I realized that they have even more words on the back there so this would be a great deal but i'm just going to use it for the blessed and i'm not sure what i'm going to put it on yet but i'm going to write out blessed b so whether i put it on a mug or my junk journal or book of shadows what have you i'm not sure yet but all you have to do is because i got two of them so I'm gonna use the whole word blessed. And then on the second one, I'm gonna cut out a B and an E. So I'll have blessed B. I thought that would be a good idea. 
And then along the same note, I had showed this in a previous Dollar Tree haul that wasn't specific to witchcraft, but it's the same concept, just with these, um, what are they calling it? Iron on Arts. So I'm going to use the whole blessed, and then I got a second one to do a B and an E with. So I thought that would look gorgeous on a tote bag or a shirt. They actually show it on the back here. I thought that would be so beautiful. So I picked that up. I also found this gorgeous, I guess it's a sticker. It says, go green, everywhere safe, always removable, repositional. But it's of this dream catcher. I thought that would be beautiful artwork for a book of shadows. So pretty. And then I also found these planner stickers, but they seem to be magic related. And they're really pretty. So make your own magic, moonlight, uh, there's zodiac symbols. I thought this would be great for the Book of Shadows or if you do a witchy or magical planner, you could use these as well but I thought those were so pretty. And then I was also excited to find that they had Zodiac coin purses out. So I got a Gemini and a Taurus and they're metallic looking and I thought they were so cute. So they have a, I guess it would be washable. Yeah, it looks like a washable liner, but these would make perfect gifts or you could use them for yourself for your travel altar you could put all kinds of stuff in here uh, packets of herbs your crystals little incense cones thought those were really cute and then i also found these zodiac eye masks as well so i got a gemini and a taurus super cute love that I'm so glad Dollar Tree is getting more witchy items in. I absolutely love that. Now, the next item isn't necessarily witchy, but when I go to Dollar Tree, I look for items that I can convert to witchy items. So this one is a sticker set, and as you can see, it's not really witchy, but I got it for this bottom one. It says, Seek Magic Every Day. And I thought that would be a cute quote to put in my Book of Shadows. So I picked it up for that. And of course I can use the other ones for my regular junk journal. Next up, I found these ceramic dishes and they look like leaves. I thought these would be really pretty for my altar. I could put candles on these. I could put different herbs on these if I wanted to do some candle magic um, with herbs and it was going to get a little messy I could do it all specifically on these I think these in particular I'm going to be using on my money altar so once I get my money altar done I'll be videoing that for you all so you can see it Next up, I found this beautiful bottle, and I think they're advertising it as a vase, but when I first saw it, I thought it'd make a beautiful bottle for moon water, and you could get a cork at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, so it would be a container that you could actually put stuff in and hold it in without it spilling out, but I just thought it would be so beautiful for my moon water. So I picked that up. It, you could also use it on your altar for a vase if you wanted to do fresh flowers or faux flowers or even to hold your incense sticks. I think that would be really pretty as well. Next up, I found a journal. Now, the front quote isn't witchy, of course. It says, work hard, dream big, but that could be easily covered. But I really liked the background, and I thought this would be the perfect journal for dream work. If you're, you know, working on your magic through your dreams and trying to figure out what your dreams are and what they symbolize, I thought it would be good for that. Or even a journal to learn more about the different zodiacs I thought that would be really cool as well so I picked this up 
Next up, I found some reindeer moss, and you can definitely use real moss on your altar or as decor, but of course, it eventually dries out. So I like using this reindeer moss because it keeps that beautiful green color year round. So it doesn't matter if it's winter or summer or what have you if you want to leave it out all year round it's still going to be this beautiful green so i picked some more of this up i also found this beautiful star in the crafter square section now obviously it doesn't scream witchy but i was looking at the design and the inner portion looks like a sun to me and i thought this would be gorgeous as a beltane decor or letha decor of course you would have to paint it and stuff but i think that would be so beautiful especially for beltane i mean it all also kind of looks like a flower so since beltane you know with the maypole and the beautiful flowers i just think this would be so gorgeous for that and of course you can also use it for spell work i think it would look gorgeous on your altar if you wanted to put a candle in the center and do some type of spell with it i think that would be gorgeous as well or even as a crystal board or crystal charging station that would be a good idea too so there's a lot of different things you can do with this and then the last item I picked up was actually in the hardware section and it's this hardware storage case. Now I've picked up one of these before and mentioned about using it for my witchcraft but this one is bigger than the one that I picked up previously so I was super excited about these. These would be perfect for portable altars there's room in here for different types of herbs and crystals and tea light candles and you might even be able to put the smaller uh, candlesticks in here as well so it's really roomy and there's tons of space to put things in and it's the perfect size for traveling as well but that is my entire witchy Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all got some good ideas on how to use Dollar Tree's products for your practice and witchy decor. I had a lot of fun picking these items out. If you like this type of video, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. And also like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.